Hey everyone, I'm Francesca. I am the founder of Fashion AI, a AI fashion community. I'm delighted to have with us Edda. Um, thank you so much for joining us today from Refabric. I'm really super impressed by um, the AI tool that you've built over, I guess, over a year or how long have you been building uh, Refabric for? Actually, it passed like one and a half year. Uh, we have started like probably two or three years ago uh, as an NFT marketplace. But after that, we uh, decided to pivot the way of working. And then we decided to work on an AI tool for fashion industry. Uh, so it's been okay. like one and a half years. Yeah, a, a, a real um, typical startup journey, lots of pivoting and you've got an amazing um, startup. So just uh, by way of introduction, so Edda is a co-founder and CEO of Mintgrams Technologies, which is Refabric. Um, she has over six years experience in business development, product management and digital marketing. She's a passionate innovator and creates user-friendly solutions. And I can definitely attest to that because Refabric's a really easy to use um, tool. So the UX design is, is amazing. Um, and um, a bit of, on Refabric. So Refabric aims to transform the fashion industry by reducing waste, increasing transparency and empowering creativity. Uh, previously, she was the head of business and product at Bundle News, where she drove strategic product decisions, managed business development and product teams, and also secured uh, multiple partnerships and deals with leading media outlets and publishers. So welcome. Thank you so much. It's really nice to be here. Um, let's start. Let's awesome. Start yeah. So first question is, how does Refabric's AI technology specifically benefit fashion designers in their creative process? So um, Refabric's AI technology is a game changer for fashion designers. Um, until we streamline the creative process by offering productive uh, design suggestions. Uh, automating pattern creations and enabling rapid, re rapid uh, prototyping. So this allows designers to experiment uh, more freely and realize their visions more quickly and accurately. Fantastic. Um, and could you walk through the user experience for a fashion designer on Refabric? How does the platform streamline their design workflow? Um, the user experience on Refabric is all about simplicity and efficiency. So designers start by inputting their design concepts or inspirations, and our AI then provide design suggestions, set suggestions and simulations. So designers can refine these suggestions, leading to a streamlined workflow take, uh, that takes a concept from an idea to a visual prototype in a fraction of the usual time. Fantastic. So is this prompt engineering? So you're writing prompts or can you upload images? What well, if could you delve a little bit deeper into what the suggestions are? Okay. Um the designers can upload uh, can write their uh prompt and their fashion idea, uh, or they can upload their um like inspirational image. They can upload the inspirational images with their inspirational patterns where we, they can implement it on their uh like like uh, inspired, inspired uh, designs. Mm -hmm. uh, and also there are different type of uh, AI models where uh, the basic uh, prompt engineers and the advanced prompt engineers can use. So it will give a different type of solutions for every type of designers. Fantastic. Um, so with sustainability being a crucial factor for designers today, how does using Refabric help in creating more sustainable fashion? Actually, uh, as you know, the circularity in the fashion industry is really important right now, but everyone is talking about the recycling or the uh, the second health selling, second hand selling, but it is important to like uh, have a really efficient uh processes in uh, fashion industry. So we're touching to the uh, design processes. So Refabric contributes to sustain sustainability, redu reducing the need for physical samples, uh, which cut down on material waste. And our uh, digital first approach allows designers to finalize their uh, finalized details virtually, which means fewer resources are used in uh, production processes. Mm. And 
um, kind of delving a little bit deeper into, um, you know, challenges that fashion designers face today. What are the main, you know, problems that they face in their um, the design process and how does Refabric help solve those problems? Actually, Refabric addresses challenges like time-consuming cons design processes and uh, resource-heavy production cycles. So designers have uh, given us positive feedbacks about particularly uh, appreciating how our uh, AI accelerates the creative processes and opens up new possibilities in the in design. So uh, we are like touching to the um, time time problem, like the, they have uh, tight deadlines while they they are trying to design. And also uh, they they have a little, yeah, really uh, limited inspirational sources uh, in uh, design industry. So um, this product, uh, Refabric, actually helped them to uh, inspire and have a unique output, output for their, their, their selves. Fantastic. And how does Refabric foster collaboration and community amongst fashion designers on the platform? Um, actually, uh, AI is really a new, newly, in, uh, newly entered to the uh, design processes. And uh, the thing is, uh, every designer learn how to imagine a design and how to sketch it or how to like paint it or how to sew it. But uh, no one knows how to uh, write or how to say describe their uh, designs. So it is important to build. Uh, it is important to build a, a AI tool to help them to uh, for their design processes. But the community uh, is a key because um, the community helps each other to uh, to learn about the prompt engineering processes. Mm -hmm. So we fosters a collaborative community by providing spaces for designers to share their work, get feedback and engage in creative discussions. We also host virtual events and workshops that encourage networking and collaborative uh, learning. So in here we are like we are having a partnership with you as well because uh, we are trying to uh, invest in this area together. So it is really important to collaborate with uh, with companies uh, like uh, Fashion AI to um, build and innovate this industry. Absolutely, um, I think this is still such a a new area, um, and uh, community is so important uh, for for the the learning process. And it's really nice when um, communities collaborate together and they share their prompts. Um, some people are quite protective over their prompts, but I think that uh, we all kind of rise together by by sharing what we know um, and becoming better prompt engineers. Um, so what are some of the unique tools and features that Refabric offers to fashion designers that they might not find elsewhere? Actually, um, there are a lot of general AI tools in the uh, right now, uh, but uh, Refabric is uh, just focusing on fashion design vertical. So I think that's really unique for uh, AI design uh, industry. So uh, with Refabric, you can design a really trendy fashion design outcomes uh, because we're always working on to train our tool by new uh, fashion trends, the fashion attributes and uh, fashion style. That's why um, we are we we serve a really uh, unique outcomes uh, with uh, Refabric, and we are working on a new tools for fashion designers where they can collaborate with their own team, and uh, where they can train by their own data uh, and that leads them to um to have to say it to reserve their own uh, dna of their own brands wow that's going to be really powerful because obviously you know just using these tools as an individual is, is one thing if you're a solo entrepreneur um but then if all of a sudden you know you're actually working in a brand you need to be able to work with a team. And I haven't seen any other generative AI tools um, that really have the team functionality and also uh, for fashion brands to maybe train their AI with their own uh, own unique visual identity. Um, could you just delve a little bit deeper into that side of things in terms of um, it, this new tool that you're bringing out? Will it be 
um, allowing brands to train with their own images? Is is that what you have in mind? Yeah, actually, uh, right now we have launched our first product, Refabric, but in in our team, we're calling the uh, it's uh, Refabric Basic. But uh, right, right now we are working on a, a Refabric Pro version. So Refabric ba- Basic is uh, like addressing to all all type of designers, like to the uh, fashion design uh, students through the fashion fashion design professionals. But in the Refabric Pro, it is a it will be a like a B two B product where uh, fashion brands, fashion design houses can um, subscribe it, and after that they can. Uh, have to, they can upload their own data uh, in different type of uh, folders, like visual folders. So uh, they can upload their bestseller um, ready to wear data on uh, on Refabric Pro. And after that, uh, the the tool will uh, the tool become a personalized AI fashion design tool just for that company. So um, right now we have different type of uh, general generous AI tools and everyone has the same not the same solutions but the same outputs but uh, when the company is uh, trained by their own data or by, by their own DNA they can even merge the future fr- uh, fashion trends with their own DNA and blend it with a really good um with a really good technology uh, and they will have uh, their own uh, fashion design results, which will uh, which will be which will be sell to their own audiences. Mm. And just to to clarify on that point, does that mean that the brand's DNA is is sort of protected, so there's no transfer yeah. learning between the brands? Because I know that that's that's their IP; they want to keep their DNA, um, and that side of things. Yeah, that's the key, actually. Um, they will train the um, AI with their, they will train Refabric Pro by, by their own data and it will be, uh, it will belong just to them. And we're going to uh, integrate a different types of uh, fashion design trends from uh, the sorry, worldwide data, but they, they will have uh, their mm-hmm. own data uh, mm-hmm. by themselves. And how this is a, a sort of, off the cuff question, but how has um, tracking trends changed uh, in the fashion industry o- over the years? I know that before, you know, trends would be determined almost years mm-hmm. in advance, and then you have maybe taste makers who are influencers, and you would see what they're wearing. Um, but I think we're moving into an age where anyone can become an influencer, and you need to use data to uncover the the latest trends have you seen that a little bit as well yeah actually uh, with generative ai every uh, fashion trend has become more personalized and every fashion brands have uh, their own voices uh, according to their own uh, audiences so uh, there are different type of uh, types of uh, fashion trends uh, which will relate with the, their audiences so it is really important to train the tool by uh, t- tool by serving to your own audience uh to have to say to grow your brand because uh if you change your route by just by the trends uh you you, you can't find uh, any loyal uh customers so if you have a, a taste and if you have a you have your dna on your brand it will be better to grow and um it, it you're gonna be more consistent uh brand that's so interesting so the advice there is yes, follow trends, but actually um, stay true to your brand and maybe solidify that so that you can really. Okay, fantastic. Um, so, with the growing demand for technology in fashion design, how does Refabric cater to the diverse needs of its users in this evolving industry? Yeah, actually, we cater to this demand by offering versatile uh, tools that support both creative exploration and uh, professional grade design, uh, whether it's for individual designers or large teams. Uh, as I mentioned, you we, uh, we build a tool named Refabric, but it's a Refabric basic tool, uh, which is catered to the uh, actually individual designers and fashion enthusiasts. So uh, the this tool's route will be like changing to the 
uh, more uh, marketplace side and digital product um digital products uh, selling digital products or uh, maybe some fashion enthusiasts can uh, design their own products and search it online and find the similar products from there so i think everyone has had the same experience uh, you you uh, you want to like wear some dresses and but you can, couldn't find the similar product online but in here you are gonna design it and then try to find it uh, where you can find a similar product and go by that. Wow. Uh, it's yeah. a new form of <laughs> um of like product search rather than yeah. just going on e-commerce and searching by, I don't know, price and brand and garment. You can just say, I want to design this myself and then have fun with the process and then find products in that way. And maybe you can like uh, take it to a tailor and uh, like we'll get it made. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, we we are we are trying to democratize fashion design for everyone. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And then ideally finding a, a local tailor so it's more sustainable as well. Um, fantastic. So can you explain the difference between Refabric Basic and Refabric Pro and how each caters to different types of fashion designers? Actually, I mentioned before about Refabric Basic is designed for individual designers and newcomers like fashion enthusiasts, offering intuitive uh, tools for exploring fashion design. But Refabric Pro uh, caters to professional designs and brands with advanced features for detailed and collaborative design works. And also in Refabric Pro, there will be a, a sketch to a design um, feature as well, because as I mentioned, the every fashion designers had the same type of uh, educational uh, steps and no one knows how to describe their uh, or their like, imagined uh, dresses, but they, they, they can really make uh, good sketches. So it is really important to turn the sketch, they can upload their own sketch by like a G JPEG uh, and uh, turn it to the uh, real products. And they will be even um, like iterate on that product. They can change the sleeves or like neck of that uh, clothes uh, by using our tools, different type of features. Fantastic. Sounds really exciting. Um, so in terms of your, this is a, the last question, but your roadmap, um, what upcoming features and developments um, do you have in the pipeline that your customers, uh, fashion designers should be most kind of excited about? Um, fashion designers uh, should be excited about Refabric's upcoming end to end design workflow integration. So, uh, yeah, we are working on a fashion design uh, tool, but uh, we're going to expand it like uh, uh, horizontally as well. So, uh, our expanded tool sets will empower designers to iterate, construct final patterns, and do uh, lifelike 3D simul simulations of their creations completely digitally. And so they confirm uh, pieces are production ready before requiring a single uh, physical sample. So uh, we are also building out a robust e-commerce capabilities, making it seamless for designers to run virtual photo shoots of completed designs, then immediately offer cross-channel purchasing globally. Uh, whether creating physical inventory runs or exclusive digital hybrid digital offerings, monetization and uh, distribution channels will be directly integrated. So we are trying to give a platform to designers where they can uh, monetize their work. So uh, I think I, I talk a lot of uh, different type of uh, fashion designers. Some of them is working in a really big fashion brand and some of them is, are trying to uh, design as a freelance designer. So uh, when I talk with a freelance designer, uh, they are trying to find the um, find the how to say it find a brand to sell their own uh, creations, their own actions with a uh, with a good price actually. So uh, in this product, they will be like in Refabric Basic actually, they will be able to put their uh, collections uh, to the marketplace with the uh, AI design outcome and 3D outcomes and uh, maybe some patterns of that uh, outcomes. So when a brand try to like uh, explore the designs, they will be, uh, they will be, yeah, they they can actually they can uh, buy the whole collection with the whole ready to produce package. So by this way, um, freelance fashion designers can monetize their work. 
and that the uh, uh, and the uh, on the other hand in refabric pro there will be a uh, be the bridge between the basic and uh, pro uh, refabric pro will be used by the fashion designers which is working in the fashion brand so they can design iterate they can uh, pro like they can design a ready to produce uh, outcome like 3ds of them and patterns of them and also they can explore the fashion uh, freelance fashion designers um, collections to uh, buy it and uh, how to say it to buy it and uh, then produce it for uh, end customer so we're trying to uh, think about all of the all type of the fashion designers some of them needs to uh, have a really a uh, user-friendly design tool some of them uh, needs to monetize their work some of them uh, wants to collaborate with their teammates and uh, by building different type of products we're gonna like uh, we're gonna uh, give them different type of uh, products in a one platform Wow, that's that's super impressive and really nice that you've thought of, okay, what are the features for individual fashion designers, teams and brands, but also how these different entities can work together. So you have brands then, you know, licensing out the the collection of these uh, individual fashion designers. So I, I think you've, you've thought of a very like holistic approach, which is, um, you know, where there's going to be the most amount of value um, in the future. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I really look forward to having a follow up conversation with you when we can actually, you know, launch some of these features and uh, and maybe bring some brands into the conversation to to hear their case studies of, of using your tool. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect.